Want to know where you could study for a tuition free online computer science degree? If you do, then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be one of the best online universities if you're looking for an affordable degree, right? And that university is none other than the University of the People, right? So I am currently on their websites and the University of the People, you know, it's pretty unique in terms of what they are looking to achieve. So number one, they are a fully online university. That's right, fully online. So they, they have no physical campus. It's not hybrid where you need to go into somewhere a couple days a week and some days it's online. No, from the inception, their mission was to be fully online and they are a fully online university. A a apart from being fully online, they serve a global audience, right? So they're not just restricted to uh, um, like a certain region like just the US or the UK or Latin America. No, this is open to a global audience, you know, worldwide, right? So on their website right now, I just want to head over to the About tab in brief, you know, to give you a bit of information about the history of the university. So just a disclaimer, guys, I'm not affiliated with this university by any means. This is not a sponsored video. Neither am I a past student of this university, right? I just uh, found out, well, I knew about it a couple of years now, but I decided to share it with you all uh, in this video. And that's because one major milestone they recently accomplished. And I'll share that with you shortly. But yeah, if we look at uh, some of the history here, it was founded in 2019, you know, so they're definitely not just the an, another new kid on the block, right? But they, they have been uh, uh, around for quite a while. So since 2009, sorry, and uh, accredited in 2014, they currently serve over 152,000 students from 209 countries and territories. Right. So as I mentioned, you know, I think that's one of the good things that set this university apart. There are some other universities out there that are online, but they only focus on a certain uh, geography of people. Right. They only um, focus on, let's say, Europe or the US or the UK, uh, you know, UK or Latin America. But this actually focuses on a worldwide audience, you know, making it much more accessible. Right. So what I want to show you guys, so we have established that it's online and it's for a worldwide audience. What I want to show you guys next is some of the academic programs that they offer. So if you go to the academic programs tab, we could see there are actually a bunch of different programs they offered. So I know I mentioned computer science, you know, and I, I mentioned that because this channel, as you know, focuses more on tech, you know, uh, in terms of cybersecurity and information technology, etc. But aside from computer science, they offer a bunch of other degrees as well, right? So they also have uh, like professional courses, you know, certificates, you know, short courses that you could study, you know, non-degree programs. So they have business administration, computer science, health science, English as a secondary language, etc. Then we have from the associate degrees, you know, so we have business administration, computer science, health science. Uh, similarly, with the bachelor's degrees, we have business administration, computer science, health science, and they have all the way up to master's degree. You know, where you could do an MBA, you could get your, manage, um, your master's in information technology or your master's in education. Right. And one of the other big things I want to, um, you know, about this is that they are beside online, they are tuition free. Right. So if we click on that tab here, you know, it gives you a little more information about what tuition free means. Right. So it's not free as in completely free, but it is tuition free, you know, and where it says tuition free means like unlike other university. University of the People does not charge students for taking courses. So you don't necessarily have to pay like per credit or whatever. 
What they do charge for, however, is they, they charge a course assessment fee, right? So like your exams, they charge an assessment fee when marking your, your, um, your exams, right? But it usually works out to much cheaper, and I'm going to show you here in a second when we look at the computer science degree in more detail. There are also opportunities where you could get scholarships, right? Of the other fees, such as assessment fees, you know, and you could just get a, a, a recognized degree completely free. And I actually know people personally who have gotten like full scholarships through the University of the People where they were able to earn their degree 100% online, 100% free of charge due to receiving one of the scholarships. Right, so um, let's take a look at one of the programs, right? So let's say the computer science degree, right? If we hit on that, we could see here, you know, you have the apply now where you could begin your application process. You know, again, you don't have to call a phone number, reach out to them at email, you could do everything on their website, right? You know, it's pretty intuitive. So you could apply and you need to apply, as you can see, the next batch starts in April on April 10th 2025 and you have by March 20th 2025 to apply and if you scroll down a bit here we have the admissions requirements right so uh, once you have completed high school and you're 16 years of age or older you could study for this degree so very easy entry requirements right scrolling down a bit here we have what the course consists of right different modules right so if we hit on view all courses you know that gives you an idea of all the courses that you have this degree comprises of so we have college algebra introduction to statistics introduction to computer science programming fundamentals programming one programming two you know etc right software engineering too so yeah that you know it's a pretty uh, comprehensive degree you're getting so it's not like it's this water down degree that you're gonna be getting because it's tuition free no this is a world-class degree you're, you're actually getting from the University of the people if you should choose to study their computer science degree right and um I think we have the course there. Yeah. So here we have the course. So remember, I told you it is tuition free, right? There's no tuition or enrollment fees. Uh, there is a $60, that's 60 US application fee and $140 assessment fee per course, right? So the total works out to about 5,660 US dollars for this degree, a computer science degree. But guys, if you were to compare this figure to what a traditional U.S. university would charge you, it's like, you know, this, this might even be the fees for the semester, right? You know, for a year, you might pay like 10000 U.S. just to attend the university, you know, in the U.S. to get a U.S. recognized degree. So this is literally pennies on the dollars, you know, what that, for what you get in this degree, right? And there are other degrees, as I said, you know, feel free to check out the website. I'll leave a link in the video description. You could actually study for your MBA here as well, right? In less than a year, you could get this MBA. And do they have a course breakdown here? So it's about $4,860, that's for MBA. Tell me, where else are you getting? Uh, online MBA, you know, fully accredited for this price, you know, and they also have like masters in education, masters in information technology, etc. You know, so you can feel free to check out the um the site at at your leisure and look at what they have to offer. One more thing I want to actually show you is something big as i mentioned i knew about the university of the people before but i didn't thought i didn't think it was worth sharing until like last couple days and that is because they now are fully accredited right they are fully accredited uh you um in the us right so they are actually cred accredited by two bodies they are accredited by um they are nationally accredited right and i'm going to leave that link this link in the video description if you want to check it out they are nationally accredited by the Distance Education Accreditation Count, uh, Accrediting Commission, right? And they were just recently regionally accredited, right, by WASC, 
you know, Senior College and University Commission, they recently accredited the University of the People. And, you, uh, and this is basically the gold standard, right? Regional accreditation is the gold standard. This is what you're looking for in a US degree. You want it to be regionally accredited. And University of the People, they were nationally accredited all along, but they just like literally a couple of days now, they got regionally accredited. So that's why I thought, yes, it's worth sharing up this now because before being nationally accredited, it's okay, but it isn't recognized necessarily by, um, you know, a wider audience in the US, but with regional accreditation now, this is, this is like the gold standard I, I said. So so because it's now regionally accredited, it'd be much more recognized now by employers, for instance, right? As well as other universities. So say that you want to transfer from the University of the People. Say you did your bachelor's here and you want to go to another university to do your, your master's. They would now be uh, recognize your degree from the University of the People. Or say you did a master's with University of the People, you want to do a PhD somewhere else, it would now have that the leverage of being regionally accredited and much more uh, higher chance of success when applying to these other universities. Right, so yeah, so I, I want to wrap it up. I didn't really want this video to be too long, but just recapping who is the University of the People right for? Right, so this is perfect for if you're looking for an online degree, you just, you know, you don't have the time to go to physical classes, you wanna study exclusively online, this university is perfect for you. Also, you're looking for an affordable option. So as I mentioned, it's not totally free, right? But it is tuition free, which makes a big difference, right? Compared to what you pay with traditional universities. And as I said, there are options to get full scholarships. I actually know a couple people that benefited from full scholarships from the University of the People, right? So you also have that option where you could potentially get this for 100% free. Last but not least, it is now fully accredited, right? This is the president here of the University of the People, you know, and, you know, he was, you know, sharing that this university is now fully accredited in the U.S., right? So you have the benefits of having a fully accredited degree, you know, and I just, uh, and before I close, I want to... Uh, Again, mention I am by no means affiliated with this university. It's another sponsored ad, but just I thought this was a great opportunity. You know, people trying to get their degrees and get some sort of formal education. This is perfect for you. Whether you're looking to break into tech, you know, computer science, as I mentioned, or if you want to do your um, business administration or even health, you know, they have those options available for you. Um, at the University of the People. Right, let me know in the comment section below. Did you, have you ever heard about the University of the People before? You know, what are your thoughts on them? Do you think it sounds like something you might be interested in doing or have you studied there? Are you past student? And I'm interested in knowing in your experience also. Feel free to comment down below. Right, and as always, if you like this kind of content, this is a bit out of the norm, but if you like anything related to cybersecurity, technology in general, you know, why not consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit on the notification bell so you'll be notified once a new video is released. As always, thanks again for viewing. See you soon.